Power BI has a built-in feature uh, that allows you to uh, split a field that has a series of values uh, that are separated by a delimiter. And so what I'm going to do is to connect here to a spreadsheet and bring up this spreadsheet and I'm going to then bring up a specific sheet. So I select it here and then I can either load it or transform it. I'm going to go on ahead and transform it first uh, just because it, I think it's a, a better way to, to manage data is to always try and transform it. Uh, and so what I've got is, is this and I'm going to, what I want to do is to split this column and so what I'm going to do is to go on ahead and duplicate it. So what I have is a second version and I'm going to go change it and call this condition details uh, and that way I have a, a, a separate table that I'm working with. So I'm in the condition details. I want to, no, I don't want to split client, I want to split condition. So then I'm going to go out here to split. I'm going to split by a delimiter. And I'm then going to say yes I want a semicolon. Uh, and what you have to do is to go down here to advanced. Select rows and then you can say OK. And what it does is to split it out. So we can then close and apply, and what that's going to do is to build the, the, uh, uh, the, you know, the tables that we want to work with. And so what it's doing is applying it. We have them here. If I click, what I'm seeing is I've got that with the, uh, the conditions together, and here they're separate. Um, and so you can see how we're going to report, for example, on, uh, and I'm going to bring up a report, and let's say I'm going to bring up uh, condition details and what I'm going to do is to bring up condition and then uh, what I'm going to do is to drag it in two more times. So I'm going to drag it in here. I see the gold. I'm going to drag it in one more time. So now I have his conditions three times. I'm going to expand it out just because I, I know that is kind of an issue as we blow these open. Uh, I'm going to do this one as a count of conditions. This one I'm going to do also as a count but I'm going to further uh, show it as a percent of the grand total. Uh, and so then it lets me know where we are. And I can, uh, for example, now sort on either of these. But let's say I sort. This gives me a sense of exactly kind of what I have. Now you can see precision is, is a couple things we want to do. First of all, we want to uh, make sure we rename these. And so we're going to call this percent of total. Uh, let me see if I got it. Yeah. And then I'm also going to rename this one and just call it count, just because I think it, it, it we have too much space in there. Uh, and so I'm going to call it count and select that. Uh, and then the only other thing I want to do is, is you see how, yeah, there's, the precision doesn't really work with this. So what I'm going to do is to go out to field formatting. And this one's a little bit tricky because you see it says conditions, but what we actually want to do is we want to select it, go down to total, and then if you scroll down a little more, what it says here is, uh, is the, uh, the, uh, the auto um, number of decimal places. And here we just want to select it anywhere and just touch zero. And what that does is to bring it to zero. You can always give it one. So let's just say we, if we, if we had precision, we could do that. Although again, it, it gets a little bit elusive. So bottom line is you can make that change, and you can change it any time you need to. Uh, but let's call that done at this point. And what we have is a, a nice looking chart that we can then pull into graphs and do other things with that we've used the splitter for. Hey, thanks for watching.